You've seen the meme, and while they are quite hilarious, people's lives were lost, which makes it a no-joking matter. On June 18th, five people, including a pilot and four paying tourists, were on a 22-foot submersible known as the Titan that was heading to the famous Titanic wreck site for exploration and as a tourist site. Unfortunately, 3,500 deep in the Atlantic Ocean, the submersible lost its signal and was never heard from again. This led to fast-paced action from all agencies, even including the military, to find the sub. After days of searching around the clock for the missing ship, a sound was heard. Not a loud noise, but just a little to be heard close to the actual Titanic ship. Resources were dispatched to the location of the noise. Unfortunately, what was found was the debris. A remote-controlled car found parts of the Titan, including its tail cone, on the ocean floor about 1,600 feet from the bow of the Titanic. Rear Admiral John Mauger of the U.S. Coast Guard said at a news conference that the pieces of the ship suggest that it exploded in a terrible way, known as catastrophic implosion. Sadly and finally confirmed all what we feared all along, that they were dead. OceanGate, the company that planned the trip, said in a statement to NBC News, We now believe that our CEO Stockton Rush, Shahzada Dawood, and his son Suleiman Dawood, Hamish Harding, and Paul Henry Narjole have been tragically lost. But we can't help but ask what happened. What caused the Titan to lose signal and also implode, especially in this age of advancements? Experts believe everything wrong was as a result of a catastrophic implosion. If you are hearing it for the first time, don't worry, we will explain what it means. What is a catastrophic implosion? A catastrophic implosion basically means that there was a hole or leak in the skin or hull of the ship, which led to an implosion, not an explosion. There's a difference between the two. An explosion happens when pressure builds up inside a contained area. An implosion, on the other hand, means that the pressure came from the outside, in this case from the Atlantic Ocean. It's not known where in the Titan's descent the implosion happened, but the ship's wreck is more than two miles below the top of the ocean, where the pressure of the water is about 375 times that of the Earth's atmosphere. So, the pressure of the water was the cause of the submersible meeting its end, along with the tourists. Now. Even though the sub was built to handle this kind of pressure, it was still enormous. The ship was so deep that all the water on it would have weighed as much as the Eiffel Tower. And when a submarine's shell breaks, it moves inward at about 1,500 miles per hour, which is about 2,200 feet per second. And it takes about one millisecond, or one thousandth of a second, for the whole thing to fall apart. Too fast for any human to process what has even happened. Also. The air inside a sub has a fairly high concentration of hydrocarbon vapors, so it is believed that when the hull collapses, the air auto-ignites and an explosion follows the initial rapid implosion. Human bodies incinerate and are turned to ash and dust in the blink of an eye. In such, since the Titan went missing, experts have been afraid of a catastrophic implosion, which would kill everyone on board at once, and it looked like their fear came through. For a short time, there was hope that the ship's signal loss was caused by a power failure. If that was the case, the submersible would have dropped weights, which would have brought it to the top where rescuers could have found it. A safe plan B for if plan A fails. Sadly, both plan A and plan B failed. This isn't the first time an Ocean Gate sub has lost touch with the subship. In 2022, CBS reporter David Pogue went to the Titanic on an Ocean Gate trip, and his submersible lost touch with the surface for two hours. But the team was able to communicate with the missing sub later and rescue it, which unfortunately didn't happen to this current one. Not only has this happened before, but apparently the CEO of the company, who was also one of the five people who died on the trip, didn't have the Titan inspected and certified by a leading agency, despite being warned by experts that not doing so could have disastrous effects. One of these warnings came from OceanGate's former director of marine operations, David Lockridge. According to court documents, Lockridge wrote about the need for more testing and about the potential dangers to passengers of the Titan as the submersible reached extreme depths. OceanGate fired Lockridge in 2018 after he told them about his safety concerns. That same year, they sued him, saying that he had broken his employment contract by giving private information to the Occupational Safety and Health Administration when he filed a whistleblower complaint. Lockridge sued back for unfair dismissal. In his court filing, he said, the paying passengers would not know and would not be told about this experimental design, the lack of non-destructive testing of the hull, or that dangerous flammable materials were being used inside the submersible, and what he predicted happened. 
This has sparked negative comments towards the company. It's gross negligence knowing that their equipment isn't safe for travel and yet still went ahead to do the exploration. And even though sadly the owner is dead, the company could be facing lawsuits that are as heavy as the water pressure that destroyed the Titan ship. The only thing we can say is may the souls of the departed rest in peace. That's all we have for you today. Hit the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and the like button so we know you loved it. Also, hit the little bell so you get notified when we post new videos like this just for you. Thank you for watching. Till next time.